Hello and welcome to the game. We have got a good one in store for you. Presenting to you from Bierski Field. For the home team, we've got the Indians. They're going up against the Biohazard. I'm Dan Stevens and sharing the booth with me is my esteemed colleague, Peter O'Keefe. Okay, let's do a rundown of the all-pro talent in today's game. Well, these two guys can break the game wide open. And look at the rest of those names. What a cast of players. But they won't have it easy, though. They're facing a tough adversary. Derek Thomas, Bob Brown, head up the attack for the Indians. Simply put, Dan, these are some of the best players ever assembled on one team. Just look at the rest of them. Each one is a star in his own right. Okay, Peter, it's time for the coin toss. Let's listen in. Good game. How you been? The biohazard. We'll make the selection. What is the call? Heads. It is tails. We'll take the ball. The Indian have won the toss. Wazalewski boots it downfield and we're underway. Billy Sims got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. The Indians will start the drive at their own 24-yard line. Novichak catches it left sideline and has some room to run. The 45 finally stopped at the 44. First down. Yo, man, you got way more than y'all can handle. Give me all that time, boys. That's why his boys in the trenches get paid the big bucks, right? First and ten from the biohazard, 44 yards. Stabler throws a bullet to the flat and it's off incomplete. Obiajulu broke up the quick outside pass on that last play by reading it perfectly. No catch. Incomplete. The defense stood up to that play and shuts down what would be a minimal gain anyway. It'll be second down. Second down, 10 yards to go. From the biohazards, 44 yards. Set, listen up, go, 74. Listen up, Gray, 34. Okoye takes it off the toss and passes the line. Tackled at the 40. Okoye with the pick. Gain of two yards on the pick. Two yards to circle. Third and five. Stabler rifles this one hard over the middle, and it's knocked away from the receiver incomplete. Yancey Thigpen tried to snag that one across the middle, but doesn't happen. That will bring up fourth down, and what a disappointment. That would have given them the first. You gotta make those plays when they come your way. Gardaki gets ready to punt it away. Gardaki gets the ball and punts it away. Hakeem fields it way back at the eight. Drag down the 14. James Hakeem fielded the ball, and although he was dropped pretty quickly, that terrible kick gives him some good field position. The Biohazard will start this drive all the way back at their own 14-yard line. Jackson lets it go here, and it's caught at the 32. Finally stopped at the 36. He picks up 22 yards on the play. First down, Biohazard. 
Pontbriand is all by himself, and he'll take advantage of it. Easy catch. A beautiful pickup, Peter. Everyone on the offense is happy about that play. Definitely. Great call by the offensive coordinator. Bickerstaff gains five on the play, and that brings up second down. A pickup of five on the play. Thomas credited with the tackle. Great. Second and five. Ball up at 41 yard line. the 44. This kind of pickup should be no problem for us. Third down with the tight end right. The referee stops the play. We have a penalty marker down. Let's listen to the call. The ball has her dawdled back there, and that gave them a delay of game penalty. We'll go with doubles. Third and six from the Jackson throws a heater right sideline and he's hit as he throws incomplete. Jackson didn't connect with the pass back there and it's understandable. He got hammered right as the ball was leaving his hand. Ellis lines up for the punt. Ellis takes the long snap and punts it away. Hunter fields the punt at the 24. Stopped at the 33. Troy Hunter did a nice job getting some yards after fielding the solid punt. The Indians stalled early last drive. We'll have to see what happens here. We'll start at their 33-yard line. Sims takes it off the toss and runs into traffic. Green brings him down behind the line at the 31. Credited with the tackle. Morris Green makes a nice stop in the backfield here, throwing his man into the turf behind the line. I guess the ball carrier's travel plans were canceled. Oh, he's not going anywhere. Pow, you're down. Nice tackle. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Sims reels in the football, and he picks up nine. Billy Sims shows great ability to run. Catch on this one. He does seem to have the natural burst that scouts are always looking for. Yeah, look at him separate from the defender. Y you can't coach that. He did a good job getting his hands around the football, and then he just took <laughs> off with it. Yeah, he's not running any tricky patterns, but can pick up the extra yardage when he needs to. Gains five on the play, and they convert the third down. Billy Sims played smart and used his blockers to perfection on that last play. A big gain on third, and they will easily move the chain. Perfect call for the situation, Dan. No trouble in getting the first. First down, three wideouts in the game. Urban grabs the bullet and tries to get free. Chase down at the 36. First down. First down, Indians. First and ten from the Bioware. 36 yards. Billy Sims had an opportunity to tack on a few more after the completion, and he took it. I love to see that kind of drive in a player. You can't coach that. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play, and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. 
Lawson gets a piece of this one, but that's all incomplete. Third and one from the Biohazard, 28 yard line. Damn! Set! <laughs> Okoye gains 10 yards on the play, and that brings up first down. The entire offense clicked on that play, Dan. Big yards from the runner because he knew where he was going at all times. Peter, they did what they needed to do, and they squeak it past the first down line. Yeah, he knew what he needed to do, and he done did it. How That's eloquently put. Thank you. That will end the first quarter, and it's still a scoreless game. Let's keep doing what we're doing. Catches it over the middle and gets past the markers for a first down. Devonovich tackles him for a short ball. Sims gets the call again and chews up about four on the play. Sims carries it for a third time in a row and gets the touchdown. Billy Sims will get yards on you any way he can. Watch how he dodges trouble. A fantastic play, Peter. So perfectly done, you think it was almost choreographed. It looks like he took some dance lessons. That's the first time he's seen the end zone, and you know it was going to happen sooner or later. Oh, he expects to have something under that TD stat at the end of every game. Here's the point after, and it's good. Boots it away. Eric Jensen took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play. The biohazard take the field and will start out at their own 21-yard line. Vickerstaff gets the call on first down and takes it upfield. One man to beat. Finally popped out of bounds at the 47. First down. Chris Woods finally makes the play, but not in time. Let's have another look. Oh, yeah, gave up a lot of yards before forcing him out of bounds. The defense gives up the first down pretty quickly there, Peter. Yeah, you got to at least slow him down a bit. Second down from the eye. Second and ten. No good. Incomplete. Injury on the field. If we can't stop him here, we got problems. Third and ten from a biohazard. 47 yards. Jackson just right with this one and it's complete at the 45. Hunted down at the 40. That will bring up first down. First down, biohazard. 
Fontbriand gets open and gets the football for a gain there. Watch this again. He is wide open. The defense clearly fell apart on that one. Well, you can't leave anyone that open in pro football or they will make you pay. He caught it short of the marker but found a way to move the ball into first down territory. That's a huge play on third down. Otherwise, they'd have to kick it. Robert Brazil would not be denied and dropped him for a huge loss. Big play. That's his second tackle so far. Jackson gets all of his arm into this pass, and the big catch is made with daylight in front of him. Touchdown! John Kell is going to make the catch, but that's only the beginning. He simply chews up yardage here. If you're the defense, you have to try and gang tackle this guy early, or it's lights out. The touchdown was his for the taking, Peter. Good individual effort. Yeah, and great teamwork, too. The point after. Melton will hold the kick. Here's the point after, and it's good. Wazalewski boots the heck out of this one. Sims decides to take it out of the end zone. Stop at the 20. Billy Sims got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. The Indians got into the end zone last time they had it, and they're looking to do it again. They'll start at their own 20-yard line. Sims will take this one off the toss and gains about three yards. Wagstaff had to leave the field earlier in the game, and now we've gotten word on his condition. Peter? The team doctor's diagnosis is that he twisted his ankle. They're sizing him up for a brace, but progress is slow at best. We've been told that his return is questionable. Well, we'll hope for the best. Thanks, Peter. Ball at the 23-yard line. Billy Sims nabbed the pass without any challenge whatsoever from the defense. When you're that open, every quarterback in the league can get it to you. Time and time again, he makes a fantastic option of himself coming out of the backfield. Well, there are some runners that just have a knack for the passing game, and this guy's got it. Novichak grabs the fastball over the middle, and they convert on third down. Ken Stable makes a terrific completion in double coverage here. Wow, now that is one confident QB. What a pass, and he is generating some great numbers. Oh, absolutely, Dan. So far, he's got 97 yards and no interceptions. Stabler throws a bullet to the flat, and the reception's made at the 37, tackled at the 41. He loses one on the play. It's all about big play defense! Second down, nine yards to go. it in the flat and gains a couple. Third and seven from Roar Indians, 43 yards. Let's <laughs> go. 
Stabler throws this one over the middle, and the Indians take their first time out. Yancey Thigpen faces down two defenders and comes away with the football. Oh, nice catch. He Come on, D. First we got to stop the passing game. Thigpen reels in the football, and that will be good for a gain of eight. Stabler throws this one right sideline, and it's complete for a first down and a whole lot more. Flag down on the play. Let's get the call. First down, Indian. Late hit, 55, defense. Yovanovic tackles his man on this play well after the whistle blew. Watch this again. Oh yeah, a clear-cut case of unnecessary roughness. Sims catches it in the flat and picks up maybe a yard. Ken Stabler made a nice throw there, got it right past the defender. He's been on point with the short pass so far, Dan. That pattern's worked so well, we're probably going to see it over and over again. Well, why not, Peter? His receivers are open and making grabs, and nobody has really stopped him from doing it. Stabler throws this one over the middle, and it's caught for a touchdown. Nathan Hamray, watch this catch here. Great job of seeing the ball into your hands and pick. up those critical few yards they take the lead on that touchdown peter and they have to be happy with their performance on that drive yeah great calls and great execution here's the point after and it's good Jensen kicks it off. Jensen fields the kickoff at the four. Tackled at the 24. Eric Jensen got waylaid by the defense before he was able to put Munch on the run back. The biohazard comes out and has an opportunity to tie it before the break. They'll start at their own 24-yard line. Woods tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. Chris Woods came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. Jackson zips it to the left sideline and it's caught at the 32. Pompreon makes a good gain here and gets past the marker. Nice execution. Let's have a look. Well, he got what he needed, and then he went out of bounds. Nice play. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chain. Great execution. First down First and four ten. wideouts in the game. The the Ramos tips it away on the coverage. Incomplete. Isaac Ramos came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. You ain't playing like yourself today. We need... Second and ten. Ball 
Jackson fires this one over the middle and it's tipped incomplete. Robert Brazil came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. That'll give us a third down and the defense was ready for that call. Well played and a good job of not giving up the short pass. Third down from the shotgun. Ramos makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. That will bring up fourth down. Ellis lines up for the punt. Ellis gets the snap and punts it away. Hunter fields it at the 20. Tackled at the 29. Troy Hunter racked up a few yards on the run back there, whittling down the size of the punt a little bit. The Indians take the field with the clock at 14. Novacek tags the missile and manages to hold on after the punishing hit. First down, the, the Indians will talk it over and they take their second time up. First down, the clock is stopped at three. And that'll do it for the first half of this one. The Indians. A look at our first half numbers now, and the stat that leaps out at you, third down conversion. The Indians should be way ahead on the scoreboard, but somehow they've let their opponents hang in there with them. Let's see if they can change things in the second half. An exciting start to this one right on the first play from scrimmage. Novacek found a soft spot in the defense and it worked to his advantage. Unfortunately, they could not capitalize on the play. Still in the first quarter, number 13 connected with his van on this one. Unfortunately, the drive stopped shortly afterwards and they had to punt it away. Now early in the second quarter, Sims got the carry here and he was able to break through. They strike first and go up by seven. The biohazard, middle of the second, Kell was definitely a key player as he was able to work his way open for a big one here. A 43-yard touchdown for the visitors. Game tied, seven all. Stabler went to work on third down and he was able to find his man. A 24-yard play that set up a home team touchdown. And that's how we'll round this one out. The Indians are holding on to a lead, 14 to seven. All right, good work, partner. The Biohazard will receive to start the second half, and this is a tight contest. Currently, they're down 14 to seven. Now, let's get to the game. Backen boots the second half kickoff away. Jensen decides to take it out of the end zone. Stop at the 17. Eric Jensen thought he had some running room from the end zone, but gets planted before he gets to the 20. 17 yard line. We're right where we want to be in this game. Let's keep plugging away. The Biohazard will begin the drive at their own 17-yard line. 17-yard line. Two, two, one more half, one more Bickerstaff takes it across the line and heads left. Tackle 
home at the 25. Bickerstaff stayed with his blockers on that last one, and it paid off big time. You know, Dan, it's always good to have a wingman or two. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play, and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. Let's go! Second and two. Staff hauls it in right side, and he's just barely past the markers for a first. Bickerstaff made the catch back there, but then worked for a few extra yards on top of that. Great effort. He was shut out the first half, but with that catch, he gets an opportunity to make up for it here in the third. He ran a great route and gave his quarterback a nice target to throw to. That's excellent. Bickerstaff carries it for the sixth time and picks up a couple. Brazil. Second down, tight end to the left. Bickerstaff catches the bullet out left and loses yards on that one. Derek Thomas read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. That's his third tackle of the game. Third and eight from what biohazard. Jackson throws a beauty to the right side. And this one is incomplete. Laverne has this one in his hands and then... Oh, drops it. Third drop of the game for him, Peter. And look, the coach looks absolutely frustrated. Oh, yeah, Dan. Mistakes can kill what you're trying to accomplish on offense. No doubt about it. Ellis gets ready to punt it away. Oh, yeah, punter. Ellis takes the long snap and punts it away. Hunter fields the punt at the 27. Locked down the 37. Troy Hunter did a nice job getting some yards after fielding the solid punt. The Indians take the field and will start out at their 37-yard line. Stabler just rifles this one and it's tipped incomplete. Obiajulu couldn't have read that play any better if it was tattooed on the inside of his helmet. Potential for some nice yards, but the defense plays it tough. That will bring up second down. Hey. Second and ten. Ball at the 37-yard line. Sims catches the heater left sideline and is at the 45. 35. Finally stopped at the 18. First down. Dan, check out all the yards he snarfs up here. Yes, snarfs. That's an old football term. <laughs> Tell you what, though, this is a great play. A big run there. And, you know, that's the first time he's really broken out all game, Peter. He was definitely held in check in the first half. Yeah, but he's busted loose in a major way. Second down, two wide outs on the field. Sailor makes the sack at the 22. Dwayne Sailor just nails the quarterback on this play behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to cost the offense a few yards. Oh, Dan, that was a great job of getting to the quarterback. Nice sack. That'll be his first sack of the game.
Third Stay tough up there, fellas. From the biohazard. Yeah. 22 yards. Set. Stabler throws a bullet to the flat, and it's complete at the 24. Knocked out of bounds at the 16. Obiangelo will get credited with the tackle on the force out. That will bring up fourth down. Obiajulu pushed his man off the field with a great defensive effort back there. They got a few yards, but not the first. The defense let them get a bite of yards, but there's still a lot left on their plates. I don't think they have an appetite to allow a conversion here. Touche, fourth down ahead. Backen kicks it from 33 yards. It's through the goalposts and good. Jim Backen puts in an easy short one. A clean kick, no worries. For the first time today, they leave the red zone with only a field goal to show for it. You know, overall, Dan, the defense has to be happy with how that one played out. Backen kicks it off. Jensen fields it way back at the five. Drag down at the 27. Eric Jensen was able to find some weak spots in the defense. Got a good run back off that kick. Ball is spotted at the 27 yard line. The Biohazard are now on the field, and except for a few big plays, they can't be happy with their passing game. We'll see what they call on this drive as we start at their own 27-yard line. Bickerstaff gets the handoff and will lose about a yard here. Derek Thomas would not be denied and dropped him for a huge loss. Big play. That will be his fourth tackle of the contest. Jackson gets his entire arm behind this pass, and it's tipped incomplete. Chris Woods knocked that pass down, and he made sure the only one to touch the football was him. That's the second time he slapped that ball out of there. Excellent read and reaction skills make him a nightmare to try and get the ball back. Third down, one man back. Stop at the 32. Hunter will be credited with the tackle. Fourth down coming up. Troy Hunter shot down the ball carrier just before he got to the markers. A good game, but not good enough. Ellis gets the ball and punts it away. Hunter fields it at the 35. Dragged down at the 41. Troy Hunter fielded the ball, and although he was dropped pretty quickly, that terrible kick gives him some good field position. The Indians will start the drive at their 41-yard line. Sims takes it off the toss and gets past the line. Locked down at the 43. With the carry, gain of two yards on the play. Number 21 with the tackle. Second down, and they line up with three tight ends. Sims takes this one way out left and rambles for about five. Sims with the pair. Gain of five on the play. Number four with the tackle. Third and three. Ball at the 48 yard line. Yeah, Set. Big Pen didn't haul that one in, and it falls incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Yancey Thigpen executed a nice little hook on that last one, but he couldn't bring the ball in. Incomplete. This is getting ugly. Ugh. That is his fourth whiff of the game. They may want to rotate someone else in there, giving this receiver time to regain his confidence. Here I come, punter. I'm coming. I'm going to block the punt. Gardaki gets the snap and punts it away. Hakeem fields the punt at the 13. The 16. All right, all right, great covers, guys. The Biohazard haven't gotten much out of their offense recently and are looking to get back on track here. 
This drive begins at their own 16-yard line. Up the off, catches the left sideline and gets past the markers for a first down. And that'll do it for the third quarter. The Indians enjoying the lead 17-7. Staff takes it for his eighth carry and ends up losing about three. Dave Butts keeps his man from getting back to the line. Let's watch. How? Oh, that's got to hurt. Peter, they put an end to that play well in the backfield and they had a real. No, no, no! Not today! No, sir! Biohazard, 24 yards. a play on this one and forces the incompletion. Chris Woods wouldn't have read that play any better if it was tattooed on the inside of his helmet. You know, Peter, if this were volleyball, that would have been the defense's sixth spike of the match. Yeah, the O keeps setting it up and the D keeps sending it back. Jackson zings it to the right side and the reception is made past the markers for a first down. 16 yards on the play. First down, Biohazard. Pompriano takes the catch out to the left hand. He's looking for room, and he's stopped right there. That will bring up first down. Warren gets the sack way back at the 49. Second and 16. Mickens makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Ron Mickens couldn't have read that play any better if it was tattooed on the inside of his helmet. Oh, for it. This is getting ridiculous. The offense just cannot get the ball past the reach of these defenders. You're right, Dan, and that's been one of the big stories of this game. Melton unloads this one to the left, and it's tipped. Incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Isaac Ramos turned his hips to get into position and tipped that ball away. Solid coverage. For the third time today, he gets enough of that pass to force it incomplete. Well, at this point, Dan, why do you keep trying to throw through him? That's very risky. First down, and they're going for it. White Jackson way back at the 40. Jason White makes his presence known on this one. He's <laughs> gonna haunt the ball carrier's dreams for a while. A oh, big tackle on fourth. That's how you stop a conversion. They really pressed their luck by going for it on fourth and long, and then their luck ran out. It would have been pretty cool if they had made it, though. But they'll give up the ball on down. The Indians take the field, and can they capitalize on the defensive stop? We'll find out as they start this drive at the 40-yard line. Stabler fires this one over the middle, and the catch is made well past the markers for a first down. They couldn't connect on this one. Incomplete. The Juan Julio Sosopo kept both eyes on the short out on that one and caused the incomplete pass. Potential for some nice yards, but the defense plays it tough. That will bring up second down. Second and ten from the Biohazard. 25 yards. Sims will get 
get stopped at the line, and that will bring up third down. Billy Sims got some help on that one in the form of blocking, but he still couldn't make a play out of it. Well, not much of a gain there, and they will face third down. Third and long, too, Dan. Big play coming up. Third down, three wideouts in the game. Sims takes it off the toss, and he is past the line. Tackled at the 23. Yovanovitz will be credited with the tackle. It'll be fourth down. Yovanovitz brought down the ball carrier before the markers. There was some gain there, but not enough for the first. That will be his fourth tackle of the contest. Backen kicks from 40 yards out, and he knocks it through the uprights. Jim Backen sends it whizzing between the goal posts for a field goal straight down the pike. Joe Indiana are set for the kickoff. Jensen deep to the seat. Backen boots it away. Jensen deals the kickoff at the two. Brought down at the 24. Eric Jensen was able to find some weak spots in the defense. Got a good run back off that kick. This is what we're going to do. First and 10. Jackson is back in the lineup, ready to take the snap. Jackson throws a bullet and it's caught at the 31. Tackled at the 33. Ball and is well past the markers for a first down. Jackson lobs this one a bit and it's tipped incomplete. Flag down on the play. Let's get the call. Pass interference. Number 50. Defense. 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. Isaac Ramos gets a little too physical with his man here. As you can see, he gets the flag for it, too. Yeah, that's a good pass interference call. He was all over that receiver. First down with the tight end right. From Roar Indian, 42 yards. Tags the missile and is well past the markers for a first down. Gain of 18 yards on the play. First down, Biohazard. Dan, bunch of receivers out there. Defense is expecting that, and they go to nickel. Jackson throws a heater right sideline, and it's off. Incomplete. John Kell looked like he was all over that one, but it just got away somehow. Tough incompletion. That's a good example of how he's not yet reached his full potential. First drop pass of the game for him, and his quarterback hopes it's his last. Mickens makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Ron Mickens anticipated the trajectory of that pass and stuck his hand in at the last moment. Great play. That's the second time he slapped that ball out of there. Excellent read and reaction skills make him a nightmare to try and get the ball passed. Jackson throws a bullet and they get the first on third and long. in and it falls incomplete. Troy Hunter did a beautiful job on that last play covering the post route. That pass never had a chance. Incomplete. The defense stood up to that play and shuts down what would be a minimal gain anyway. It'll be second down. Jackson ropes this one to the end zone and it's tipped. Incomplete. Troy Hunter came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there.
Okay, people, good. Lover grabs the rope right side, and he's in for the score. Laverne had three guys covering him, but look what happens. Incredible catch. Peter, they are within striking distance, but time is running down. Yeah, the clock may decide this game. We'll see. We'll hold the kick. Now the point after, and it's good. The extra point is good. Wazalewski bounces it up there. Eric Jensen does a beautiful job for his squad by following the kick, getting in position, and then making the grab. That's how you work on onside kick to perfection. The gamble to try the onside kicks paid. The Biohazard will start this drive near midfield with the clock at 1.54. Jackson zings it to the right side and it's caught at the 47. Second down and less than a yard. Well, Dan, we got an empty backfield, five receivers, and the defense is in their dime. Eisen catches it in the flat and he's got the first. The clock continues to tick down. Jackson rifles it out left side and it's tipped incomplete. Marquise Joplin came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. Potential for some nice yards, but the defense plays it tough. That will bring up second down. Second down, 10 yards to go. Jensen catches it over the middle and he's got the first down and a whole lot more. First down, the clock is now at 109. We need to stop it off right here! Go, go, go! Vickerstaff will get the carry on first down, and he's stopped. The clock, the biohazard, take their first time out. Come on, let's keep taking it to This is a big one right here, boy. Second and inches. From Ohio. Out the clock. Grabs the fastball over the middle. And he's got the first. The clock continues to tick down. Well, I bet we see the pass here, right to his go-to receiver. Vickerstaff gets the handoff and gets the touchdown. This is a nice run here, and when you watch the replay, Dan, check out his field vision. Great job of finding space. Peter, they've tied it up, and now they can take the lead on the point after. Oh, this is a big kick coming up, Dan. Should be easy to pull off, but as we know, nothing is a gimme in pro football. Wazalewski lines up for a one-point lead. Now the extra point, and it's good. Kicking off. Sim back for the return. 
Wazalewski boots the heck out of this one. Sims decides to take it out of the end zone. Shoots. Round to a halt at the 23. Billy Sims took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play. The Indians start this drive of the game from well in their own territory, and the clock at 22. Urban makes the catch on the right sideline, and that will stop the clock at 18. Kenny Urban was smart on this play, running out of bounds to stop the clock. It was the best thing he could have done to help his team. That would have been the nail in the coffin had he not gone out of bounds. They move the ball, and it will be second down. Stabler makes the pass, and the Indians take their first time up. First down from the on. Big Pen catches the heater left sideline, and it's good for a gain of 10 on the play. We have got to put ourselves in position. Watch the draw! Watch the draw! Stabler just right for this one. The Indians will take a timeout. That's their second. Ken Stabler threaded the ball back there to his man right past all that traffic. Good job. Another terrific throw and completion. This team is piling up serious yardage and putting consistent pressure on the defense. Consistency, consistency. The Indians take a timeout. That's their final one. Second down from the shotgun. And that is going to do it for this one. The Biohazard come out on top 21 to 20. With this one in the books, let's take a look back at some of the action. That was an exciting game. So let's not waste any time in getting to the highlights in our post-game show. We'll pick up the action midway through the third quarter. Sims emerged as a real weapon as he pulled one in here. That set up a 34-yard field goal. The Indians now up by 10. The biohazard later in the fourth. Number 13 would find his target on this one. Unfortunately, they couldn't capitalize on the big play and they turned the ball over on downs. Midway through the fourth, the Indians up by 10. Backen comes on for the field goal try. Good spot and this one is right through, no sweat. They're now up by 13. The biohazard, late in the fourth quarter, number 13, would drop back and put one right on the money. A six-yard touchdown for the visitors. The biohazard, down 20 to 14. Number 45, got the carry as they pounded him out on the ground. He made the most of it. A three-yard touchdown for the visitors. And that's where we'll have to leave this one. The biohazard squeaked out a win, 21 to 20. Okay, here's your 2K Sports player of the game. Number 13 turned in yet another legendary outing. 
Well, he was the best player on the winning team. It's as simple as that. We'll see if he's able to keep up this high level of play in the games ahead. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Steve.